Welcome to Slacker Gaming and welcome to this episode of XP Farming. I call it XP Farming because it's something you can do in about an hour and you can come away with about 20 to 30,000 XP in just about that hour. I do this way all the time. I did it when I was a level 20, when I was a level 30. Now I'm like a level 50. I still use the same XP method and it works brilliantly. So if you like to watch that, stick around. So how we're going to do this is to complete town projects. You get a ton of XP from doing this. And I want to kind of show you how to do it in the different ways of doing it. So the first way of doing it is going and looking at what you got here. So we got some easy ones. We got some hard ones. We got some like wyvern pallets. Like that's going to cost us a lot kind of to make. Then you got the stone brick, which is kind of easy. You got the mana or the health potion up there. So we're going to go ahead and accept the, the brick one. Uh, the fishing one isn't really one that we want to keep, but like, look at the pallet, the pallets will get you about 7,000 XP. Uh, the fishing ones we're not really going to do because I don't want to fish and do all that stuff. So, uh, we'll end up canceling that eventually, but look at that already a weak potion. So let's go ahead, lock that in and already gaining on the day. And so let's go ahead and cancel the fish because just because I don't think the fish is going to be something we can grab quickly, but the like wyvern pallets one should be pretty easy. Um, we might need a few things along the way to kind of lock those in, but pretty much the stone bricks, the wyvern pallet, we had one of these armor things to do. So we're going to go ahead, run to the armor place and get that crafted and done. So we went ahead and did that. We're going to do another one there as well at a different place. Then we are out and what I do is I like to go on a, on a kind of round farming run. I mapped out where the, the wyvern trees are or whatever the wyvern trees things are. So I'm kind of just running and the first place I go is actually, actually they're not there because it is being taken over by corruption. So we leave that place, we kind of keep moving and we know that in order to make the wyvern pallets, we need normal young trees. We need mature trees. We also need stone for the bricks and stuff to make as well. So we're going to kind of do that as we go. The f we get to the second place and there's only one tree here. So we're going to hit this tree, knock it out, get it finished. And then we will go to the next place uh, that has wyvern trees or whatever. And while we are traveling to that place, we're going to knock out a few things as well. So here's... We're finally here at the wyvern tree so let's go ahead knock down these trees and then we're gonna again need young trees to make the timber the timber to make the lumber and then the lumber and these white trees uh together will actually make the planks which is what we need to complete the town board now town boards for me are pretty easy to do and i kind of have routes that i like to run that that'll knock that out also, while we're down here, we have a quest. We actually have two quests that we can knock out for ourselves here. And they actually happen to be the same exact thing. So we went ahead and knocked that out as well. So while you're kind of running these routes, while you have them planned out on the map, uh, just go ahead and try to knock out as many things as you possibly can while you are out. Because then you come back and you got six things done instead of getting three and then later going to get another three. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to knock up a couple boulders here as we run along. Have another quest here to get ancient urns. So we grab one there and we're going to grab another one here for the fasteners. Again, this is all in one swoop. We're not really going out of our way. We're kind of just making our loop around here. As you can see, we started up north, kind of went over to the wyvern trees. Currently have three things to turn in at Everfall. We're going to have more here very soon. We're going to knock out a couple of woods here as we run the mature trees. We're going to need those for the lumber. We're going to need the young trees for the other portion of it, of timber. And then we're going to knock out the rocks here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, tons of stone. And now we're back at it. We got two of the, uh, two of the fasteners done. So we got those two knocked out. We got a new quest and 200 uh, aged wood, which will not take long at all. So we got that. We could knock that out. And then we got the bricks, which we need to make. And then we got the wyvern plaques as well that we need to make. So let's go ahead and like the, the, fa the fishing ones, I kind of just accept them and cancel them so that it can fill the spot with something that I might actually be able to do. 
But we're going to go over to the wood place here. We are going to turn the normal small uh, green wood into timber, the timber into lumber, and now the lumber into the wyvern plague. So we only have 35. We need 40. So we're going to have to go out and get five additional ones. But it's because we do not have the lumber um, not because of the timber so we can run out real quick hit a couple of big mature trees able to knock that out and while we're here we're going to knock out the uh, other arm armaments thing that uh, we need for the quest as well come back and make some more lumber there because we took two minutes to get the mature trees now we're going to make the planks and boom we have the 40 planks that we need to turn in while you're doing all this Keep in mind, you're kind of just doing this as you go. You're just playing the game. Now we need to make the stone bricks. So we're going to make the stone blocks here. Uh, while we were running around, we got um, hit a bunch of the nodes and stuff. So we got a bunch of stone. We make it in the stone blocks. Now you make the stone box into the stone brick. And the stone bricks are what we are going to turn in at the town board here. So as you see, and all of this was done within about 20, 25 minutes running around and you're going to get all of this XP. And I'm going to do it, kind of show you two different ways. I'm going to kind of just show you the AXP here. And then I'll show you it when we turn everything in. So before we do this, uh, let's just go out and get the 200 aged wood. It'll be easy, simple thing to do. We turn in the first quest, 9,844. Turn in the second quest. And boom, another 4,000 XP there. So already about 14,000. And then things are filling their place. And oil, already have it. That's another 900. Already have that one done. Look at all that XP fly up. So pretty much from all of this, we ended up gaining uh, around 15,000 XP. There is also one that is no longer a mission, but we got it done. So we were able to lock that in as well. We look at what we need to do next. I know I got linen. I know I got mana potion. I can get both of those pretty easy. And then I could get the 200 age trees pretty easy as well. Uh, the linen, I already had the fiber in the base, so I just went ahead, went over to uh, the loom here and made the linen that I needed. You needed 90, so knocked that out. Boom, that's done. Went out and got the aged wood. Boom, that's done. So knock those out. We still need the uh, common mana potion, so let's run over to the Archimede place, and we need 10. Let's just go ahead and make the full 20 just because uh, we use them. We need them all the time, so we're just going to go ahead and make the 20 we get 22 because of the upgrade and boom just like that a ton done so you get about 15,000 xp there in about 30 minutes the next thing we do is we go to the next place which is brightwood we've had a few things we've already done before we also got a few things we need to kind of turn in as well so we're going to kind of start this over fresh looks like we need um stone blocks we need um some normal wood and then we need some leather now, a way you can do this, and I know some people do, if you're not worried about like having a ton of coins, you can just go and get these things off of the market, off of the trading market, and then turn them in for the XP. So if we don't have the leather, we don't know how to make it, or we don't want to go make it because it takes a lot of resources, you can always come over here and buy it off of the trading post and then turn it in for the XP and all that. Honestly... There's certain things I would do this with. This is not one of them. I'm not going to pay 523 coins in order in order to get like 4,000 XP. So I actually just don't do it. But like say the wood is easy. 362 XP for that. The, the wood is easy to get. Uh, the other thing is the stone blocks. Those are easy to get as well. So they're pretty cheap. And so you can just go and find what you want. Boom. For 30 cents. Uh, you can get... We, we need 50. So for 15... 15 coins we could pretty much get that done and complete and uh yeah just easily done linen got that already easy boom done and that's what i do kind of to start off i travel different places that i'm able to and i just go there and lock in the stuff that i need uh done there done so the next place we go to do is Windsward, and i got a ton of things and before i go i always like to see what i need and have done in that place so I, every time I go to a town, I open up the town projects. I try to I try to accept as many as I can. And then later on, I come down here and I look at, oh, Windsward needs this. Windsward needs um, linen. Windsward needs this. Windsward needs um, search for things. Can't do that. But the ones that we can do, like this one where it's acquire uh, rugged leather, 
that we can just travel with. We can easily travel with that. Uh, the baking supplies, that might be a little tougher because uh, that's cooking and stuff. And I don't know if I have all the stuff needed for that. But what I do is I go through and see what it needs. And then I take what I need with me. So rugged leather was one of it. We got a ton of rawhide. We can make rugged leather. We already have some rugged leather. So let's go ahead and add that there. We also needed some uh, sateen. So we go ahead and I think we needed, what, 45 or something like that. So we go ahead and add that. And then we also needed linen. We needed 90 linen. So we're going to go ahead and take that as well from our other base. So we already have a few of them that we've completely done already just by kind of going through our stash and see what we have and then running it over uh, to the correct place for the XP. We needed a couple more rugged leather. So we went ahead and made some more, making sure that we had enough once we go back to Windsward. So now we're in Brightwood. We're still in Brightwood. We're still uh, taking the stuff we need. We fast travel to Windsward and look at that. One, two, three, four, five things already done. So showing up with what you need. And this is where you can see what we needed and what we have. We have pretty much everything we need. And the XP is ends up being about 12,000. Then we go ahead and search for what's new. We got a ton of these things as well. And we end up coming out of this with about 20,000 XP from this run. So the first run uh, you saw when we were in Everfall, we had a ton of XP there, about 15,000. Right here, we had 20,000 XP completed. Um, the other place, we, we bought some stuff, knocked out some XP there as well. So ultimately, when doing these runs, you can, I mean, the XP varies. Obviously, you saw that I turned in a 9,000 XP quest, but got 11,000. That's just because I have bonuses in those cities that I get more XP. And there's stuff like that along the way. But I, every night, basically, before I get off, I spend an hour just running and doing these types of things. And I basically get off with about 20, 30,000 XP uh, right before bed. So something that's kind of easy to do, you plan your routes, you see what you need in every city you see, oh, do I already have it? Yes, I do, okay, I can just run there and drop it off and lock it in. Or if it's stuff that I need to go out and get, kind of plan a route to run around the map and spend 25, 30 minutes gathering all the stuff, all the resources you need to come back, make the things you need, and lock it in and boom easy 20 to 30 thousand in about an hour of playing time if you guys like this episode make sure you give it a big thumbs up also feel free to hit that red subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next one slacker out